Today, we're gonna be speedrunning Risen Kingdom. It's a game where you have to defend your castle against waves of undead people. You can train troops, buy upgrades, and even get towers all to help defend your castle. There was even a secret undead boss at the end of today's video that I was not prepared for. Stick around to see if we beat it. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Risen Kingdom. Play easy, medium, or hard mode. Let's try out hard mode. I mean, it's only the tutorial. I'm gonna be learning this game alongside you guys, and it's gonna be up to you if you do want to see more. If you guys are enjoying this game and want to see more episodes, make sure you guys smash like as many times as possible. Let's try to hit uh, 6,900 likes in under a day. Okay, so the premise of the game is pretty simple. We need to build out an entire kingdom, and then we have to defend that kingdom from hordes of undead people. I will not let them get close to my kingdom. Okay, so we're gonna need to, yeah, get houses. We also need a mill so that we can feed people. If we don't have enough food for people, then, you know, they'll starve. So we need to make sure our people do not starve. It looks like we can also harvest the wood. I'm guessing we'll probably be able to harvest the rocks over here. And yeah, okay, so these are our resources. So we need to make sure that we have enough wood, enough stone, and enough gold in order to defend our castle. Okay, the next thing we could build is a barracks, which is going to be very important because this is where we will train our warriors to destroy the undead army. Select barracks and train two swordsmen. Okay, easy enough. We'll get two of these guys, and it looks like eventually we can get archers and then a couple upgrades. I do like me some upgrades. Travel east and kill a goblin. I don't know what the goblin did to me, but I follow orders. Hello there, little goblin. I don't know why, but the game wants me to murder you, so I really don't feel like I can ask questions. Is he gonna kill one of my guys? Jerry, no! We will remember Jerry. He's our first fallen soldier of the day. Nicely done. Killing neutral monsters will give you extra gold. Okay, so it's not just the undead we have to worry about. There's also goblins, and I'm sure there's orcs, ogres, and everything in between. Time to prepare your defenses. Okay, so we can also get steak walls. Interesting. So these will keep out the hordes of smelly undead people that I do not want inside of my castle. We could also get a lookout post, which we could put our archers on. Uh, I actually do not have archers, so we should probably get them. We need more warriors. To increase the size of your army, you need more population. Okay, so in order to get more people here, we need homes for them to live in. Let's plop a home, I guess, like we'll, we'll put one right there and maybe I think that's it, actually. Okay, so we just need one more house and now we can get some archers. We'll get three archers and then we need two more swordsmen because we lost Jerry. Okay, so I think that I could place, yeah, the archers on top of the lookout posts. That way they'll be able to see anybody trying to get into the Beckbro Cookie Kingdom. Archers placed on lookout posts have longer range and higher damage. The undead attack. Defend yourself. That was not much warning. Okay, so if you look on the bottom left hand of the screen, you can see that there are two giant red exclamation points. And that's exactly where the undead are coming from. Barbie, I need you guys to group up. Okay, the stakes should stop them, right? You know, wooden stakes and zombies, they don't really mix too well together, so I'm not super worried about it. It's looking like our archers are doing quite a pretty good job. Look at that. They die at the stake just how it was intended. Oh my gosh, wait, they got through the stakes. How is this even physically possible? And also our stakes are getting damaged. Oh, oh my goodness. Yo, dude, wait, they're doing some serious damage right now. Defend the kingdom. What are we doing? Okay, cool. Yep, that was super easy. Repair the damaged building. Yes, okay, so we shall repair all of the buildings. Looks like we can also hit R and then repair absolutely everything that got damaged, which it turns out was you know, just a couple things. Research spoils of war in the castle. Yes, very good. We will get spoils of war and get 20% more gold. Honestly, guys, so far, this game reminds me a lot of right click to necromance, but also it adds a lot more things than I was expecting. Like resource management is definitely not something from right click to necromance. But I do like the art style and I feel like the whole idea of an undead army coming towards my castle is very cool. So again, if you guys do want to see me play through this entire game, let me know by leaving a like and comment down below if you've seen this game and if there's any like strategies that you guys know about. But for right now, my main strategy is just to keep my resources balanced and also to get as many upgrades as possible to destroy my enemies. I will rule with an iron fist. Destroy the enemy in the southeast. I like how this game says destroy because that's exactly what I like doing. So far, I honestly think that archers are probably the best troop in the entire game. It seems like uh, we need more houses in order to have more people here. Uh, but real quick, let's go destroy the enemy. Okay, it looks like they're somewhere down here. I wonder if they're gonna be like undead people or maybe like ogres. They are mushrooms. Little tiny cute mushies. That was the last thing I was expecting. Oh my God, poison cloud. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, we'll lure out the little guys and then we'll take down their dad. Oh my gosh, dude, this guy's got some serious range. We're losing troops left and right. Since when are tiny baby mushrooms so deadly? Okay, so far so good. I don't know if I could actually like take out this big guy, especially because he farts out giant 
freaking turds that are poisonous. Run, run, run. Evade, evade, evade. Okay, it's me versus him. I got this. Slow and steady wins the race. Eat that mushroom! Got him. All right, let's make sure that we collect our spoils of war. And also, it looks like they were hoarding a little bit of wood. Don't mind if I do. Next up, we have to upgrade our castle. Allows new technology to be researched. Very cool. So this is going to be how we get new upgrades. Let's see. We can get fine saws, wheat, exploration. Fully Rove reveals the map, which I feel like I want to have. I don't want to not be able to see about half the map right now. Kind of just like makes me a little bit scared. I do like the regeneration thing, so we're going to grab that too. And let's see. In the meantime, we need a quarry. Plop that down right there there so that we can get some stone. And we're going to need a couple more houses. Slap down a house there, maybe right there. You know, I don't really know of anybody that would want to move into a kingdom that was so close to an undead army, but we're going to build the houses and people are going to come anyway. Oh, we can see the whole map. Undead attack in 56 seconds. You would think our scouting report would give us more time. Okay, well, we currently have one archer, so we're going to need to fix this. Let's just get a few more guys here. And we also, it looks like, have a couple more neutral people to take out. There's some goblins and then it looks like giant fat ogres. I'm gonna destroy them all. I wanna make sure I have an entire army of art. We're also gonna need to put in some more houses so that I can get more people in our army. Since currently right now, it seems like the cap is 20. Oh, with the more houses that I bring in, yep, the cap slowly and steadily shall go up, which means that my army will grow in size. The undead are coming. Okay, honestly, I'm not super worried about the undead. The undead are kind of a little bit slow and they're not really doing much. I do wanna see if I can take out these giant ogres. That'll be a real man's challenge. Okay, guys. No, no, no. They, they, we don't really care about the undead. We want to kill these giants. <laughs> This is amazing. Yes. And we'll steal their wood. Okay, the kingdom. I mean, I'm doing a pretty poor job of actually making sure we don't die, but it seems like we're fine. The enemy is defeated. Okay, with my army of about 12 archers, we shall come down here and destroy these goblins. Looks like they have either gold or wheat. I really can't tell. Hello there, good sirs. I have come to take everything that you have. Oh my God. He dashed. Okay, luckily, they're a little bit smaller than the ogres. So that was honestly, this is like taking candy from a baby. Let's grab that. Thank you so very much for your donation to the Beckbro Cookie Kingdom. Another undead attack is coming in about 50 seconds. Luckily, I'm feeling pretty confident here. What we can do is buy more steak walls just to make sure that we keep these zombies out. Steak wall there, 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 there. Maybe some like here and there and there and maybe, maybe there and maybe, I, I, I don't know, maybe there. I mean, for good measure, we could just like throw a cannon just like right, right, right up here. <laughs> maybe another one here considering I have so many resources. Also down here, it's seems like there's also a couple towers that I do not have access to yet. So I'm very curious to see what they are. I'm hoping I can get like a giant rail gun that sets everything on fire. That'll really show the undead I mean business. Okay, for right now, I'm going to keep my army kind of just like behind the stakes. I feel pretty confident that my cannons are going to demolish the zombies. <laughs> this is not fair whatsoever. You guys are doing great. I feel like I'm slightly bullying the undead army, but they started it. Okay, let's bring them down here. Actually, do I need to? Look at this cannon. This cannon does some crazy damage. I absolutely love watching my enemies get exploded by a ginormous metal ball. It's one of my five favorite things. That's right, guys. Come on. Yes, yes. You've been invited to your death. Thank you for coming. We did it. We beat the tutorial. Next up, first steps. So we understand the basics of the game and uh, we're going to step it up a notch. It looks like our castle got a little bit cooler. The first victory came easy to us, but there is little time to celebrate. We've set up a new camp at a clearing between two lakes. Okay, Koyo, no, don't worry. I got you, dude. Looks like we started out with a couple troops already. Interesting. I like this. Okay, we have new towers. We can build a fountain. Um, right, right there looks pretty cool. I like it. When the research bar is filled, you may choose one of the available upgrades. Oh, sweet. Okay, so it seems like we have a lot of different things that we could research. We could upgrade some of our guys. We can give them extra health. We could upgrade our cannons, ballistics, and apparently, too, there's now a daytime, nighttime meter. So, I don't really want to see what happens during the night. The undead are probably a lot more powerful. You need fire to fight off the undead during the night. Okay, okay, so that's good to know. I'm gonna note that down. I'm gonna jot that in my notes, and we're gonna just build a bonfire. Uh, let's put one right there, and yeah, probably we're gonna put it near where we are most vulnerable, as well as a, a, a couple torches. Let's see, a torch probably should go there. Maybe like a torch outside the encampment, just in case, just so we can get like a little bit of a better view. The enemy comes from the west. Defend yourself. All right, now, nah, not, not a problem. I, I feel pretty confident right now. Oh, wow, okay, so they're coming in, and they also have their own 
own upgrades. So we guys now have helmets and they destroy my torches. That would have been cool to know. Don't you dare touch my torches. Oh, oh okay, okay. We're, we're getting slowly and steadily destroyed. Jerry and Tom, you guys stick back, okay? Let the cannons do the heavy lifting. Bonfires can keep burning during the day, healing nearby units. Oh, cool. Okay, so it's it's a healing thing. Choose an upgrade. Yes. Let's see. Uh, treasure hunter. Resource deposits bring 50 more of the resource. Yes. We're going to invest in that. Train new warriors. You read my mind. Ooh, up higher new units. Yes. Now we can get paladins and assassins. By holding the position, they can decrease incoming damage by 20%. Okay, cool. We'll grab a couple of these guys. Neutral monsters are guarding resource deposits. All right. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to destroy them. That is a whole lot of mushrooms. Okay, we're going to take care of the ogres first. And ooh, these guys look like they have a lot of wood and gold. I could use both of those. Okay, for right now, uh, it seems like we actually probably need a couple houses as well. Uh, market. Market can be used for trading resources. Okay, for the time being, yeah, let's, uh, ooh, what's happening? Is it nighttime? We need to ensure our economic progress. Okay, that's, I mean, should be easy enough. Develop your economy. Okay, so we need to upgrade houses. Oh, we can make them even bigger. Oh, very cool. So instead of just buying new ones, yeah, I can make all of these bigger, which is good. We'll be able to have more people. Let's see, let's get some sawmills as well. We can get that right there. We can put a sawmill, I guess. Um, we could maybe fit another one, like, yeah, right there looks good. And right there, a quarry. Let's see, where's the stone? Um, oh, yeah, right over there to the right. If we go in here, yeah, let's get uh, the spoils of war so that we get lots more uh, gold. Let's get regen and let's get this. You can get wood production, reveals the whole map, which is pretty good. And I do like having some of the upgrades. Let's see if we can research every single one of these upgrades so that our troops are prepared to fight off the undead apocalypse. Okay, we still have a little bit of extra time. And what I'm thinking we could do is probably put, oh, oh what's going on? Oh, another, another upgrade. Yes, uh, 1,000 gold or mills produce one more food for every two fields. I like that. I like that. We definitely need food to feed our people. Okay, let's put a archer outpost right there. And I like another one probably like right there. Seems pretty good. I don't know if anything's going to come from the top, but I, I should probably like be prepared for that, right? So let's put these bad boys right there. And then maybe some stuff right here, just in case something bad happens. It's also, oh, I, I need more. What is that? Wood? Can I upgrade this yet? No. Okay. So I can't upgrade my wood mill, but I can add in another one, which is going to be good. But I do need some more houses. Sawmill goes right there. And I desperately need wood. So I'm going to take our, our new guys right now, get a few more archers with them. And we're going to go hunt down this wood from, I don't know if, if these guys are like archers or pirates, but whatever they are, I'm taking them down. Also too, I do need to make sure to put an archer up there. So we're going to just like plop you down for a sec. And then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to take all of these guys out. Attack! The Beckbro Cookie Kingdom needs the wood. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, dude. That was easy. I feel genuinely bad for those guys. I wonder what else I could take. Oh, okay. So there's a couple more guys down here that I didn't even realize I walked right past them. That's fine. They are sitting ducks. They have no idea what the Beckbro Cookie Kingdom is capable of. I basically have Thor on my team. Hey, fellas. How's it going? <laughs> yes, dude. The Paladins could heal, which is so overpowered. And as you guys know, I love overpowered things. Oh, plate armor or archers damage. Yup, archers. They're just so powerful. Let's see. Can I get more? Yeah, let's get at least four more. And don't mind if I just take a few of these. Thank you so very much for your donation. I wonder what happens if I like put a cannon way out there. Will they attack these goblins? Because I feel like that's a little, <laughs> little bit overpowered if it does. I'm just going to wait right here and see what happens. Do you, do you, do you. Okay, no, it doesn't. But let's see. Maybe I can lower the bid. Here, guys. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come this way. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. They came back. Oh, here they come. <laughs> Okay, dude, I feel kind of bad about that one. And let's see, looks like the last deposit is right up here for a couple extra resources. Why are the mushrooms? They're so cute, but they literally do the most damage. Maybe I could actually pull them back to the cannon. Yes! Wait, that's the strat, dude. You just pull them right back in. And then there's these, like, big poison cloud guys that are actually, like, really good. Like, it just destroyed my archer in two seconds. Gotta be on the run. Oh, wait, maybe I could just, like, take this stuff. Yep, don't mind if I do. I don't even need to kill you. Okay, let's put a guy right up there on that archer tower. We'll put a couple archers there. And we could also get some of the upgrades too. We can increase the assassin's damage and the paladin's ability. I added in a few more houses and uh, we currently don't have enough food for everybody. So, I mean, that's a slight problem that I should probably figure out. Let's see, produces food. So yeah, this is a good spot right there for that. And oh my God, it's nighttime. The undead are coming. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> Dude, this cannon is all the way out in, in Bumble. It is in the middle of nowhere and it's still actually doing... Okay, it's dead. And the enemy has been defeated. Fortify all roads leading to the castle. Okay, how do I fortify that? In order 
supposed to do that? It says that I just need another cannon. So if I go back to this, put a cannon, probably like right up there. That should be good. Oh, houses bring 10% more gold. Yes, let's grab that. Um, cannon, cannon, right. Cannon should go right there. I have a weird feeling there's going to be like a giant zombie apocalypse coming from the north. Okay, so far everything looks good. We should be able to also upgrade all of our houses so that we can get even more troops later down the line. We might as well get these two upgrades too. I don't even know what they do, but you know, upgrades sound pretty good. What else can I get? A market used for trading resources. Sure, why not? Uh, I think a bonfire probably could be cool there. And I guess maybe up here as well if I put any troops up there. I don't think I've ever quite played a game like this where like I can move my troops around, but it's almost like it's a tower defense. Like I have my tower set up over here and all of my troops, but I can also move them around if I need to. It is very, very cool. Let's see. Can I like get a lot of cannons? I feel like I should have a cannon practically everywhere that I can. Ah, okay. So this allows us to either buy stuff or sell stuff. We can buy wood for money, which is very, very good. And since we have a lot of stone, we could sell a lot of that and then get more money. Economy. Okay. Let's just place like cannons right up here. Yep. That seems good. And then I have extra wood. So we'll just build this out. You don't have enough food to sustain your population. Okay. I am losing food. Oh my gosh. We need to buy food. Sorry guys. I didn't realize you all were starving. My bad. The undead are incoming. I had to build farms outside of the safety of my walls, and I don't feel really good about it. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Okay. They're, are, they're not even coming from the top. Wait, are they? Oh, they are. Yes, I knew it was going to happen. Okay, these guys are dead. They didn't even come this side. At least not yet. Uh, That was honestly, okay, super simple. What about these? The, the tent. Whoa, what, what are these guys? These guys are new. I don't think we've ever seen the likes of those guys, and maybe we never will again. Oh, wait a second. There's a second wave coming with necromancers. Okay, these guys are new. I knew that they were going to get upgrades, but I didn't realize that they were going to get like some insane upgrades. And the necromancers can summon in armies of the undead. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. We have our cannon set up there. Uh, everywhere else is doing great. Let's get uh, maybe a couple of troops up here. And oh, we did it. Yes, victory. Good job, guys. Okay, we're going to start out this round by getting four archers. And then we need to save these guys down here, especially because an undead apocalypse is coming very, very soon. All right, so if we get just a couple archers down here and then we like converge on them together, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Okay, wait, these guys got to run. Okay, as soon as they go back, yeah, we should be able to sandwich them. There we go. There we go. Perfect. These guys are going to be our battling guys. Okay, cool. Now the whole army's together and let's destroy them. <laughs> uh, yeah, it worked like a charm. Okay, I think that that's everything down here. And now that we did that successfully, I'm feeling pretty good about, I think we can probably place down a sawmill. We also need to upgrade our castle. We can get spoils of war now. And let's see, can I place down um, a sawmill? We do need to upgrade our house as well. But in order to do that, we need stone. And I don't think I could get stone right now. Okay, let's at least get another house and... And let's just go check out what's happening over here. Since I, the only thing I really have is like an army of people. Maybe I'll be able to do some more damage. Let's see. Maybe this looks good. I don't know. Here goes nothing, boys. Okay, so there's an enemy flag here. And I'm feeling like maybe, yeah, okay. So if I take this over, then I can, uh, you know, get the resources in the area. Let's get this as well. All right, cool. So we'll take this over. This is now ours, our little like checkpoint area. And now what I could do is uh, put down a sawmill right there. And we can get a quarry over there once I get enough wood. There we go. We can play down another sawmill, upgrade the house eventually once I have stone. I do want to see the entire map. I want to see what I'm working with here, especially because I'm a, a little bit scared of the dark. I don't like this guy. This guy's sussing me out. He's hiding in a bush. What kind of weirdo hides in a bush like that? We can increase our wood production as well. Ah, okay, so we can see everything. We have assassins down there, a huge army right here with so many resources, lots more guys, and this looks like a necromancer ogre. Not really liking that. And it's nighttime, which means, yes, they're coming. I don't think I have any torches. Okay, let's play down one bonfire. Let's go like right here and right here for now. Oh my goodness, dude. There's a, a massive army and they don't even attack the neutral guys. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Now we're fine. We're fine. We are chilling. We have the bonfire, so we'll get some regen and stuff. We are taking some slight damage. Not a fan of that. Okay. We need more troops. We need more troops ASAP. And I do I, like, I don't have the resources to make troops. Hold the line, boys. Hold the line. Can I build a cannon? I don't have the resources. It's going to be up to the army. If they can survive this, I feel like we'll be good. Okay. Also, I don't think we've lost anybody. That's great. Yes, we did it. Okay, we survived the night. Let's uh, repair everything. Let's see. Okay, so can I, can I maybe put down a quarry now? Uh, quarry, quarry, quarry. I need a um, couple more people available. Okay, so that means I need more houses. And I'm going to need another farm very, very soon. Okay, I feel pretty good if I like place one right there. We're going to have to fortify this entire area and take out these little ogre dudes. Okay, now I can get a quarry once I get a couple more pieces of wood. And bada bing, bada boom, there we go. Okay, in the meantime. We are under a strict time limit of four minutes. Um, let's see. Mills produce one more food for every two fields. That sounds pretty cool. I don't really need gold right now, especially because I'm about to steal everything from these little guys. Come here, little dudes. Oh my gosh. 
And just like that, they have been defeated. Okay, let's steal the resources for now. Let's get some more sawmills going. Can't have enough wood in this game, it seems. And okay, I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm just gonna press my luck a little bit. And we're just gonna go ahead up here and steal all of this guy's stuff. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh my god! Okay, all right, he's powering up his dudes. Okay, all right, that guy's insane. As long as he doesn't summon in another meteor, I actually feel pretty good. Ah! Back to the bonfire. Okay, let's upgrade the barracks so that I can get a couple more troops. And we need to probably upgrade most of our houses once we get the gold. But we need lots more archers, but we really do not have the wood for it. Let's see, these guys are only money, so we can get one of those guys. Uh, we can get another paladin, and we might need to spread our army a little bit thin. Let's see, can I get another bonfire? Okay, we need a bonfire probably right out here so that our guys don't die. Just in case something happens this side of the way, I'm gonna have at least like one paladin kind of just like hold this line over here. Because I have a weird feeling on dead are going to come out of this water and try to murder me. And also, our guys are officially starving, which is just, like, not good right now. I'm just not the time. Let's see what if I place this right there? Okay, okay. Feel good. Feel fine. The undead are indeed coming. Oh, can I build a cannon? Nope. I have not enough of, of really anything. Okay, okay. Our dudes are taking some serious damage right now. They're doing some damage to everything, dude. Okay, this guy, we need to bring him back over. There's nobody coming from that side. Our entire the whole production line is getting shut down. This is not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. I need a cannon. No, we're getting this destroyed. Oh my goodness. Specbro Cookie Kingdom is coming crumbling down. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. If you guys do want me to try again, and if you do want to see more, make sure you guys smash like and click right here to watch me play Click to Necromance. Oh